Hey everyone. Um, it is Monday still. I went to Walmart. I'm currently uploading a video from my new camera. This is my new camera. And it is the Canon PowerShot ELF 300HS. So let me turn it on. And this is what it looks like. Um, I don't have the memory card in it right now, but um, the video I did this morning is taking hours and hours and hours to upload, so I'm go going to try to um, record using this, but at a lower setting, possibly. It will depend on what I'm doing, but I got this memory card, and this is a Class 10 Performance memory card and it's specifically made for high-end DSLR cameras and HD video and because this has HD video um, they recommended something similar to this so it's supposed to um, give me four hours of video so we'll see how that goes. Like I said, I'm going to mess around with the settings on this a little bit more and just see uh, what I can do as far as um, making them the, the videos a little easier to, not easier, but quicker to upload. So movie quality, I had it at the highest setting. 1920 times 1080, there's the 1280, 640, and 320, which is the lowest. So I'm going to have to try to um, figure out if I get more than 10 minutes of video because in the instructions that came along with my camera it says I get 10 minutes of video, which is going to be a pain in the patootie because I can do videos longer than that so that means I'm going to have to set a timer again turn it you know know that it's going to end in 10 minutes start over again and merge the two into Windows Movie Maker which I mean it's it's doable but it's whoop, but it's kind of a pain in the you know what so I went to Walmart and I grabbed some more food items I got some fresh strawberries uh, a frozen berry mix I got some unsweetened almond milk, skim cow's milk. I got um, the plain instant oatmeal because I start my breakfast tomorrow. And I went in, got weighed today, and I was up two pounds. And I think it's for two reasons. Number one is when we went to see Snow White on Saturday night, I had popcorn. So I think that I'm starting to um, store glycogen from the popcorn that I ate. And I'm not fretting about it because I'm going to start that process tomorrow anyway. So that's why I decided, number one, I forgot my ideal protein snack, my cheese puffs, Southwest cheese puffs. I forgot those at home. And number two, I was so close to adding glycogen back into my body that I decided I wasn't going to worry about it. But what was interesting was the first few bites I really enjoyed, and then after that it was just kind of like, eh but I ate it anyway. So I'm up two pounds. So shh, I didn't tell her that I ate popcorn at the movie. But she said also what it could be is doing Zumba because I've done Zumba three times in the past week. And so I did Thursday night. No. I did what, Tuesday night? Thursday night. No, I did Sunday, Thursday, and Sunday. And then I'm going to go again tomorrow night, Tuesday. So she said that part of that weight gain could just be the inflammation in the muscles, which causes them to retain fluid. So my guess is it's the combination of the popcorn and the Zumba. But I'm not worried about it. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens next week to see how much I actually gain next week as I add more carbs in. We'll see. So, oh, and I did lose another quarter of an inch. So, I mean, I didn't, I know I wasn't gaining fat. 
Um, it's either glycogen and or water. No biggie. Okay, so I picked up a couple more pairs of flip-flops. These are the LA Ink. thought these are really cute. And I got these in the large, the 910, the 7 8 were just a little too short, which is kind of weird, but I mean, they're Walmart, 688, so I thought these are cute, because um, I wear flip-flops all summer long, and then I got these, these are adorable too, I thought, I got these in the large, the 910, the Betty Boop. And not necessarily for the Betty Boop, but these are so, they look so cute on when you have your foot in there and it kind of covers up the the Betty Boop part. But just the, the red heart um, strap. So those were also $6.88. I tell you, there's, oh, these were $6.98. No, I think they were $6.88. I had one heck of a day at Walmart checking out. It was like things weren't scanning and I bought um, this memory card. The guy scanned it twice. It was in a plastic box. Scanned it twice. I go to leave the store. This sets off the alarm. It never scanned. He had to call the guy over to unlock the, the plastic box that this was in. So I had to go back and pay for that and let's see what else and then I bought some little capris in a smaller size and those didn't ring up and so and he when he put the UPC code in it still didn't ring up so he had to ask how to do that it took me forever to check out and then I had to go and pay for the memory card again well I didn't pay for it the first time but <coughs> anyway this is kind of a comedy of errors. Oh, and then walking in, walking in. So I'm walking down the main aisle, and one of the employees comes and just stops in front of me and just cuts me off. I'm pushing my cart, just cuts me off to show somebody, they were coming from the other direction, to show the guy that this is the aisle that he's supposed to go down. So I had to stop. So I didn't run into them. Sometimes I wish I would just run into people because they're so freaking rude. They just cut you right off. But then, so not only does the guy go down the aisle, but this woman comes over to my left and she cuts in front of me and and I'm like, and so the employee, I just had this look on my face and he goes, what's wrong, ma'am? And I said, you just cut me off. He goes, what do you mean? I said, I'm going this way and you came and you just cut me off and he apologized up and down, but I'm like... I said, this happens all the time. Employees cut me off, and you guys need to realize that you need to make way for the customer. Employees don't go first. You allow the customer to go first. So, my little rant. I picked up this um, Jurgens Natural Glow Foaming Daily Moisturizer. It claims that it dries in seconds with no sunless tanner odor. So, I'm going to give this a shot on my pasty white legs. They look pathetic in Zumba class. But everyone else's are too. And then, oh my gosh, I found these really cute little Hello Kitty socks. So I'm going to wear these for Zumba. So it has that one and then the one in the middle is a white sock with the bright lime green. And then the ones in the back are they're the gray ones too, but the Hello Kitty's a little different. And those were $3.98 for the three pair, and they're the Sanrio brand. And then I got, um, I picked up another Just Bitten Kissable lip stain, the Revlon Balm Stain. I'm sorry. And this is in 050 Precious. And that's the color, it's the real nude looking one. So I decided to pick this up. The one that I want, the light purple one, they didn't have. Is it called Cherish? Or do I have Cherish in that? I don't remember what it's called. But it's the, the lightest purple one. I want that one. I really like the honey color. That is just such a pretty color on me. It really works. And um, I find that if I mix the Cherish, which I think is the light pink one that I have, 
I mix that in the honey. It's beautiful. The cherish on its own is a little garish on me, but when I mix the two, it's really nice. So here is this color. So let's go ahead. These are so nice. They really stay put. So my lips were a little stained from the pink. I don't know. I'll have to see. Yeah, I think that will work out just fine. Especially if I don't want a lot of color. I just slap that on. But I'm enjoying these. Then I picked up the uh, L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Eyeshadow. I had mentioned that I wanted to get this one in Iced Latte uh, to put on my lid. I've been enjoying doing that a lighter color on my lid and darker in the crease again instead with the smoky eye. I don't know why. But this is the color of the Iced Latte. I just love these. Ooh, shimmery. So I think this will be really, really pretty on the lid. Even though it's shimmery and I'm old, I don't care. I do what I want to. I don't listen to the rules necessarily. And the Eternal Sunshine. I wasn't going to pick this one up because in the pictures that I've seen, it just looked really bright gold. But I have learned that you have to open these up before you decide to buy them to make sure somebody hasn't swatched them because they're not sealed at all. So there was one on the display and I opened it up and it had, uh, I don't think people had swatched it, but there were pieces that were broken off. So what I did was I just dumped a, a little piece of the shadow on my hand so I didn't touch it inside the container or anything. Um, and then I just swatched it on my hand and I decided to pick it up because it's beautiful. It isn't really bright. Um, I suppose you probably could get it that way if you wanted it. But on my skin, it looked a lot lighter than it did in the photo. So this is the Iced Latte right there. And then the Eternal Sunshine which I have to be careful with yellows and um, makeup items that are really warm. I think I'm more neutral with the leaning towards cool tones. Um, but really, really pretty. So I'm going to be using those tomorrow or one of those. Or maybe I'll do the ice latte on the inner half of the lid and the eternal sunshine on the outer half. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And then I'm going to give this a go and see how I like this. Should we give it a little uh, test here? So it comes out white. Wow, that made for an interesting swatch. So it comes out white. And it goes on very smoothly. And so far, no sunless tanning smell, but we'll just have to give it a go and see see how it goes. It's very smooth. So, all right, we'll give that a shot. If you're interested, um, I'll let you know what I think. So I got my flip flops. I didn't bring the capris out. I mean, they're just blue jean capris. They're LEI brand. I had to get a smaller size because. The other ones are getting too big on me and they're falling off. So, and then I will keep you updated next week as to um, my weight loss and my carbs and my glycogen stores and all of that stuff. So, all right. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go upload this and I don't know, this one might upload before the other one does that I started a few hours ago. So thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions about settings, um, let me know. And like I said, I'm going to play around with it too and just see, see if I can get longer than 10 minute videos. Alright, thanks again. Bye.